Let's talk weather. Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett, you were out in Greenville earlier today. And, and rewind, give us a little more of what you know about what happened, because it was a tornado warn storm at the yes. time, but the National Weather Service says it was straight line winds. Straight line winds. They were able to assess all of the damage today, and, and looking at it myself as well, we were able to see that it was straight line wind damage. So that's the official report now coming from the National Weather Service. And it's because of rear flank downdraft winds. So on the backside of the supercell storm. So let's take a look at that a little bit more. We have that warm air that was feeding in to that supercell yesterday and those warm surface airs rushing its way on in. Now on the back side of this storm, we have what's called the rear flank downdraft. So strong winds from the upper levels are then pulled down to the surface and they were at 85 miles per hour. And that's what we saw yesterday move through the Greenville area. It was a tornado warned storm because rear flank downdraft winds also help in that circulation, the aid in circulation for tornadoes to form. So that's what caused all of the damage for today, for yesterday that we were noticing and surveying today. Today, also 96 degrees is the high temperature. It was very hot for us here in North Texas, and we're continuing to see our temperatures really warm. There's a heat advisor that remains in effect until 7 o'clock for a Friday evening for us, all of North Texas, dealing with the potential of dangerous heat. Again, right now we're sitting at 89 degrees in Dallas to 90 in Granbury, 86 in Cleburne to 86 in Denton, uh, 88 in Denton to 86 in McKinney. So when you factor in the moisture content, it feels like the upper 90s to the triple digits still at 1019. So we are dealing with very dangerous conditions. And so talking about uh, what's going on when we have low humidity, the sweat evaporation removes uh, the body heat. So the dry air allows that moisture to evaporate, which cools the body. When you have high humidity, and we know we had that yesterday, we have it today, the sweat evaporation slows down. So the moist air limits evaporation and it makes us really uncomfortable. So heat exhaustion, exhaustion safety. Never leave pets and kids inside a parked vehicle. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Reduce strenuous activities if possible. Find shade or stay in the air conditioning and wear lightweight, light colored clothing. You'll need to do that for tomorrow because we'll start out in the upper 70s. And then as we go into the afternoon hours, we're going to make it up into the mid 90s. So we're going to be dealing about 95, feeling like 105 into the afternoon. Lots of sunshine on the way with these south winds holding on near about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So across North Texas, uh, forecasting looks like possibly 101 to 105 when you step outside in the afternoon hours. And that's in the shade and the sunshine even warmer than that. We do have a cool down on the way in the form of a frontal boundary approaching. It's going to stall out just a bit, brings rain back into the forecast mid to low 90s by Sunday into next week. Upper 80s rain chances about 50 to then 40% drying out towards Thursday of next week.